Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can launch make.com automations with your Notion databases. With these tools, you'll be able to perform automated actions whenever you add a new page, update a database, or add content to a document. Once you have your automations set up, you'll be able to trigger them just by using Notion as you normally would. If you'd like to see more automation tips and tutorials like this every week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get to it. First, let's take a look at the Watch Database or Pages module. This is a trigger module, so you can use it to launch your scenario in make.com. Using it will make your scenario run whenever a new page or database is either created or updated in Notion. You can choose whether it will run for databases or pages, but the module itself doesn't let you distinguish between updates and new items. But don't worry, we'll show you how you can handle that with a simple filter in a moment. To set up the module, just choose whether you want to watch databases or pages, and enter in an optional query if you'd like. This is just a simple keyword search and won't be as useful as adding a filter after the trigger. Then, set the item limit and run the scenario once to grab some test data. It will search through all of your databases or pages, so it may take a few minutes. Now, you can use the data it retrieves in the future steps in the scenario. As an example, we'll send a Slack message with the name of the page and its URL. If you'd like to narrow the scope of this trigger, add a filter right after the trigger. If you only want to complete the scenario for new pages, not updated pages, you can just add a condition that the created time must equal the last edited time. Conversely, you can just swap that to not equal to if you want the automation to run for updated pages only. You can also use filters to grab pages with a certain title, a specific contributor, or a particular tag or any other property you want to search we'll add a condition that the title should contain the text tutorial test. Now we'll turn our scenario on and give it a live test. We'll create a page called tutorial test page one. And we've got a Slack message showing that the scenario ran correctly. And when we update the contents, we don't get a Slack message since the filter stops the automation from continuing. Next, let's go over the Watch Database Items module. With this module, you can trigger your make automation to run whenever you add or update items in a specific database. First, add a new Notion module and select Watch Database Items. Then, Choose whether this module should watch based on created time or updated time. If you choose created, then this scenario will run whenever you add a new entry to the database. If you choose updated, then the scenario will run whenever an entry is updated or created. Then enter the ID of the database you want your scenario to watch. To find the database ID, open your database in Notion. In the URL bar, your database ID starts after your workspace name, in our case, X-Ray Tech, and ends right before the question mark. Paste your ID in and click OK. Run the module once to grab some test data. And then add another step. We'll just send a Slack message that says a record in the database has been updated and we'll include a link to the record in question. We'll test the scenario once, then turn it on to test it live. When we update this record, we should get a message within two minutes. And 
there it is. Finally, let's take a look at the watch page contents module. This module will trigger your scenario to run whenever you update the content of a specified page. Add a new Notion module and select Watch Page Contents. Now, this is subject to be updated, but despite the name, the Page ID field doesn't let you specify the page you want to use by entering its ID. Instead, currently, you'll have to pick the title of your page from a list. So make sure that the page you want to use has a unique title. Then, you can set the limit for how many items you want to process each time the automation runs. Keep in mind that this module is only looking for content blocks in Notion. Each paragraph or each heading will be treated as a separate content block. So if you keep the default limit of two, it will only be able to process two new pieces of content since the last time that it looked at this page. Click OK, then run the module to get some test data. Then you can add any action you'd like. We'll add a Slack module and send the text of the content block as a message. This automation will send us a Slack message for every content block that gets added to this page. If you want the automation to run under more specific conditions, you can add a filter after the trigger. For instance, we could make it so the automation will only continue if the content that it finds is a heading. We'll just set this condition to type contains heading. Now we can turn the automation on and add an H3 to the page and a new paragraph. A Slack message appears for the H3, but not for the paragraph, just as we wanted. Now you should be all set to start building make scenarios triggered by your Notion docs and databases. Everything we've covered here is just a starting point, of course. We encourage you to add whatever steps you'd like to build the perfect automation to support your workflows. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every week, and be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. You can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. Thank you so much for watching, and all of those links are in the description down below. And as always, keep the flow.